Hey boys and girls, welcome to Faith Flight School. I'm Captain Tyler. Here at Faith Flight School, we learn about the Word of God and how to be doers of it. When we're doers of God's Word and what He shows us to do, we will receive all the benefits and all the blessings that God has for us. Well, today is Mother's Day. It's a very special day very important day to honor your moms. And that's what we'll talk about today. But let's get started first with praise and worship. Hello boys and girls, welcome to church. If you haven't already, stand up for me. We're going to do some praise and worship, so you got to stand up. got to be able to move around to praise the Lord. We've been doing this song for a while. I know you know it, so sing nice and loud with us as we sing. Let my mouth be filled with your praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let my mouth be filled with your praise. Singing all day long. Sing that again. Let my mouth be filled with your praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, let my mouth be filled with your praise, singing all day long, all day, singing all day long, all day long, let my mouth be filled with your praise, singing all day long, let my mouth, let my mouth be filled with your praise, hallelujah, hallelujah. to obey your parents. If you obey your parents, you'll have a long life. That's what it says in the Bible. So it's good to listen and obey. So we're going to sing about that. All right, sing it with me. O-B-E-Y. O-B-E-Y. Obey your mom and dad. Sing it again. They say, obey your parents every day. O B E Y, obey your mom and dad. Sing it again. O B E Y, obey your mom and dad. O B E Y, makes them very glad. Listen to the words they say. Obey your parents every day. O B E Y, obey your mom. And dad. A little faster. O B E Y, obey your mom. Slow it down a little bit. So you guys go to go ahead and close your eyes. Don't worry about what's going on around you. We're going to just focus on the Lord for this last song. So close your eyes, lift your hands up toward Him. 
We're lifting up the Lord when we, when we lift our hands. We're surrendering to Him. And 
And oh, we'll sing how great, how great is our God. Thank you, thank you. Faith Life Kids, today we are going to learn about motherhood and how motherhood is from God. Mothers are God manifested in the family. We're gonna open up our manuals and see what it says about mothers. And we're gonna learn that there's a blessing promised to us when we obey what this says. It's offering time. I like offering time. Do you like offering time? I already know you do, so that's pretty cool. Offering time. I have some news. Have you guys heard of John 3.16? Some of you have, but some of you may not have heard of that. And I'm here to show you what it says and get you excited about the good news that's in that scripture. So we're going to turn in our manuals to John 3.16. And is John in the New Testament or the Old Testament? It is in the New Testament. Good job. So John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, it is offering time after all, and offering has a lot to do with giving. Did you notice that in that scripture God gave something? He gave something to us? What was it? It was his Son his only son, Jesus. Now that sounds like a pretty big deal. Do you think that's a big deal? Yeah, and I would say that if he gave his son, then he gave us his very best. Yeah, and if he gave us his very best, should we give God our very best? Another yes, we absolutely should. In fact, there are several stories in the Bible that show people giving God their best. For example, Abraham was going to sacrifice his son, Isaac, to God. And that's his very best. And Cain chose the most fluffy and fatty and most beautiful sheep out of his flock and gave that to the Lord. That's his very best. And there was the woman with the alabaster jar who poured out her very best perfume on Jesus' feet. Now, aside from giving, they all had something else in common. It was their heart. Their heart was joyful and cheerful, and they gave in faith. And that's what God looks for as, ve as the very best. He doesn't look at the amount. So, whenever we give our tithes and offerings, or we give into any other good work, as long as you do it cheerfully and joyfully and in faith, that is giving your very best. And he looks at where your heart is at. He doesn't look at the amount that you gave or even what it was that you gave. He looks at your heart to see if it was cheerful or joyful because that's what matters. So whenever you give in the tithes or in your offerings or to your friends or any other good work that God tells you to sow into, make sure that you do it with a cheerful and joyful heart and in faith because that's what honors him the most. It is confession time. And why do we do confession time? Because it is the truth of God's word coming out of our mouth. So repeat after me. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Now say this with me. I'm quick. I'm sharp. I'm bright, I am good looking, I'm very rich and a major blessing. I'm a doer, I'm a doer, I'm a doer of the word of God. Great job. All right, let's grab our manuals. Do you have yours? 
Okay, hold it up. Repeat after me. This is my Bible. It is the Word of God. I am what God says I am. I can do what God says I can do. I can be what God says I can be. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with the promise that it might be well with you and that you may live long on the earth. Mm -mm -mm. Glory to God. <laughs> you know, when God makes me a promise, I pay attention. I listen up because God <laughs> keeps his word. He does not a man that he should lie, bless God. God made you and I a promise. And we need to find out what that promise is, right? He made a promise that if we would honor our father and mother, that we would live long on the earth and that it would be well with us. <laughs> Don't you want things to be well with you? Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. When things are going well for you, you got a smile on your face. You skipping on down the street. Things are going well for you. Why? Because you honored your father and your mother. <laughs> so how do you honor your father and mother, boys and girls? Do you know how to honor your father and mother? Well, honor requires action. Mm. That's right. Honor requires action. You know what that means? That means that in order to honor someone, you got to do something. <laughs> I mean, you can say nice things. You can say, hey, mom, dad, I love you. Okay. And then go to your own room, do your own thing. Is that honoring your brother, your mother, your father and your mother? <laughs> oh, brother, mother, father and mother. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Is that honoring your father and mother? You're just like, oh, oh, oh hey, uh, you're, you're real great. Bye. That's not honor, boys and girls. Honor requires action. And you know what? There are all sorts of actions that you can do every day of your life to honor your father and your mother. You, you, you ever have your mama tell you to do something? Hmm? <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Mamas are good at that. And there's a reason for that, boys and girls. But if your mama tells you, oh, I don't know, uh, brush your teeth. She tells you to brush your teeth. Do you know what that is, boys and girls? Think about it. That is an opportunity to honor your mother and to honor God by doing that. Brushing your teeth, you are honoring God. You are worshiping the Lord by brushing your teeth. <laughs> oh, I mean, dental hygiene's great, but worshiping the Lord, that's what I'm talking about. What if she tells you to go rake the leaves out in the yard? <laughs> rake the leaves? <laughs> you can clean up some leaves and put them in a pile, and that's worship. That's honoring your mother. That's telling your mother that you love her in a way better than words ever could. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, or maybe she tell you not to run with scissors. Or maybe she tells you to, to comb your hair. <laughs> Whenever your mother tells you to do something, that's an opportunity to honor her and to honor God. <laughs> you know something else, boys and girls? I want you to think about this, all right? This world is full of disrespect. Everywhere you go, you see children disobeying their parents. You see children being disrespectful, talking back. You see people ain't got no respect at all, being rude and, and, and just acting ugly to each other. Boys and girls, when you obey your parents, like that scripture says, you are being a witness. You know what a witness is? A witness is somebody who saw it happen. <laughs> what are you seeing happen? You're seeing it happen that when you obey your parents, that it goes well with you, that you're blessed. They're going to see you. They're going to see you say, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. They're going to see you say, oh, oh, you want my seat? You want my seat? You can sit in my seat. They're going to see you going out of your way to being respectful. And they're going to see it going well for you, boys and girls. And you know what? You know what that does? That makes the people out in the world say, oh, 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 I need to get me some of that. It's going well for them and it's going bleh for me. You know what? Going well is a lot better than going bleh. Not good at all. <laughs> Ain't that right? So, so make sure, make sure that as you go through your day, every time your mama tells you something, when your daddy tells you something, you hop to it, you skip to it, boys and girls. Because when you do, not only are you worshiping God, not only are you loving 
your parents, not only are you showing love to your mama in a way better than flowers or chocolates or words ever could, not only are you doing that, but when you obey your parents, you're pleasing the Lord and you're making the Lord look good to the world. <laughs> oh, that just makes me want to shout amen. Oh, Lucy, I really like the bow in your hair with the cute little orange dots. Oh, thank you. I like yours too. Oh, thank you. Oh, hey, boys and girls. I'm here and I'm just about to make a snack and I have Lucy to help me. Would you like to make one too? Oh, that's wonderful. So you just need a few supplies for this snack. Well, what are we making exactly? Oh, that's a great question. We are going to be making little edible flowers. Look here. Aww, that's here. so cute. <laughs> that's what I thought too. <laughs> so all you need is some frosting, pretzels, little colored candies, and a knife to put the frosting on the pretzels. Oh, well, will you help me make one, Miss Hannah? Oh, absolutely. Let's grab our pretzel and our frosting. Mmm, that looks so good. You know, I think I should give this one to my mommy. Oh, you don't want to eat it for yourself? Well, it looks really good, <laughs> and of course I want to, but I'd rather give it to mommy. She's just... She's just so good to me, and she takes care of me, and mm -hmm. loves me, and I just want to do something nice for her. Lucy, that sounds really sweet. And when you do that, giving her this cute little snack, you know, that's really honoring. You're honoring your mom when you do that. So yeah. now we've got to do the next step, okay. which is the candies. Okay. So what color do you want to do? Hmm, well, her favorite color is yellow, so let's do that. Awesome. Okay, let me grab you in. Thank there you. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to put some yellow candies on. Okay. What colors do you want on yours? <gasps> Purple is my favorite color too. That's going to look really cute. That's a good one. Oh yeah. So now you put your little candies all around the outside of your little snack. We're adding all the petals. It's going to be so good and yummy. Oh, mm. yeah. Okay, now we've got all of our petals. So what do you think we need to do next? You're right. We need to put a candy in the middle. So what color do you want to do for the middle? Hmm, how about blue? Okay, let's put the blue one right in the middle. Look at that. Oh, he's a little messy. <laughs> How cute! Aw, that looks so good. Thank you so much for helping me make that. You know, the other day, my mommy, she helped me with something too. I was having a hard time making my bed. Oh, and okay. And she came in my room and, and helped me make it and told Aww. me it was okay. And that's just something nice. So now we've made something nice for mommy. That's exactly right, Lucy. And when you give these to her and you honor her by doing that, you you know, you kind of stand out to people, and you can be a light for the Lord, and they will see God in you. <laughs> well, I love doing that, and you know, I was having a hard time trying to think of what to get Mommy for Mother's Day, and this is perfect. This is perfect. You're totally right. Should we make a couple more? <gasps> That'd be great. <laughs> and boys and girls, you can make these for yourself, or you can make them for you and your mom, and then you can enjoy them together and I'm sure she would love the tasty treat. <laughs> okay, Ollie, you can do this. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy, or your, that's me, that my days may be long upon the, the, oh, Ollie Bird, what was that thing again? Well, hey there, Ollie. How's that verse coming along? Mr. Gray. Oh, uh, pretty good. I had the first part down, but I uh, lost my place. <laughs> oh, well, why don't you go ahead and say it for me? Okay. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be left alone on the grass? Oh, yeah, I think you're right, Ollie. You do got the first part down. Oh, bird. It isn't about the grass, is it? Well, no, it's not, but let's look at it again. That thy days may be long upon the land. Oh, well, it's kind of like grass. Yeah, kind of. And now, do you remember the last part? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. 
which the Lord thy God giveth the peak. Boy, wow, must it be, must be great to be Pete. Now, you're really close there, Ollie, but um, who is Pete? Oh, I don't know. Isn't that what the Bible said? Well, no, it says that thy days may be long upon the land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Oh, well, who's thee? Is he a friend of yours? Oh, no, he is you. Huh? Yeah, it's another old English word. Thee means you. Uh, meaning the person that will honor their father and mother. Oh, oh wow, mm -hmm. that sounds totally awesome. But I'm not a person. Right, right, well, let's say it this way. Uh, anyone that is a doer of the word of God. Hey, hey, that's me. That's right. And now why don't you say the whole verse for me one more time. And kids, uh, can you help out Ollie here? Okay guys, are you ready? Here we go. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Exodus 20:12. Hey, I did it! Yeah, you did! You did such a good job and great job, kids! Woo! Well, ah. thanks for helping me again. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. And now when you are a doer of this word, things will always go well for you. Oh, yeah. All right. Boys and girls, today is a very special day. Do you know what day it is? That's right, it's Mother's Day. Mother's Day is very near and dear to my heart <laughs> because my mother is very near and dear to my heart. Boys and girls, do you love your mother? That is a silly question, of course you do. Well, do you know what the best way is that you can tell your mother that you love her? Well, let me tell you, Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey what I command. You know, there are a lot of rules and commands that God put in the Bible. Do you think he put those in there just because he's really super bossy? No, God put commands in his word because he loves us very much. And he knows that when we do things his way, we'll be more blessed. Well, your mom tells you things for the same reason. She wants you to be more blessed and more successful in your life. So when she tells you, go make your bed or go comb your hair, she's not just being bossy, boys and girls. She is showing that she loves you. And a great way that you can tell her that you, can tell her that you love her right back is to say, right away, yes, ma'am, I'll do it. <laughs> to help you remember, I've got a little song for you. One, two. Three, four. Say yes, mom. Yes, ma'am. I will do what I am told and do the best I can. I will do it right away because I know when I obey it is the best way I can say I love you. Yes, mom. Do you know something else, boys and girls? When you say yes, mom, you're not just telling her that you love her, you're also obeying God. Do you know that God said in the Bible, children, obey your parents in the Lord? When you obey your parents, you're also obeying God, which means you're telling Jesus that you love him too. Boys and girls, I know you love Jesus. So, when you say, yes mom, yes ma'am, you're saying something else too. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. I will listen to your spirit and obey your word. I will do it right away because I know when I obey it is the best way I can say I love you. Yes, Lord. Because I know your word is true and so in everything I do I want to show my love for you by saying Yes, mom. Yes, dad. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Good job, boys and girls. Hey, boys and girls. Remember earlier we were talking about how God gave his son to us in John 3:16. If you'd like to receive that gift of Jesus Christ, you can receive him in your heart right now. And it's super easy. All you have to do is ask and believe in your heart to receive it. So just repeat this prayer after me. 
Father God, I believe in you, and I believe you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. And I believe he rose again and is alive right now. So Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and be Lord of my life. And that's it. Now that you've prayed that, you have received God's greatest gift, and now it's in your heart. And now you can share that gift with everyone around you so that they can see it and experience it as well. Wasn't that a good lesson about honoring our moms? Well, I do encourage you, today is that special day, that Mother's Day. And so do something extra special for your mom or whoever's like a mom in your life. Make them feel important and loved. You'll be honoring them, and by doing that, you'll be honoring God. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for being with us. I'm Captain Tyler, and I'll see you next time.